Hi ladies, I just want to do a quick video of my design team project for um, Tsunami Rose. <clears throat> Sorry, my hands are um, dirty. I was working on a project, so um, don't mind that. I'm going to zoom in because this is kind of a small <clears throat> um, uh, junk journal. So I'm new to junk journal, but my um, project was to do a... 10 page mini junk journal so this was kind of my take on what a mini junk journal is um, I'm not sure if it's correct but here it is so <clears throat> the paper <clears throat> line I used was the um, vintage post postage I want to say um, I will link everything I used in the description box that way you can go and um, check them out. Um, this paper is really beautiful. I also mixed some of the embellishments with the Rose Azure and some other embellishments that um, that are in our store. So I will link everything below and um, so here it is. So this is my cover and I kind of did my binding a little bit different. So what I did was I used this twine and I just binded my actual book. So if you can kind of see, so I binded my book with the twine, um, the inside pages, and then I went through with this um, um, ribbon, uh, seam binding that I dyed myself and I uh, laced it through. And this is what's holding my book. And so <clears throat> I just used... Um, this is a card. Um, let me see if I can find the packet. So these here are cards I got at Michael's. And they come with the envelope. So here, they're um, card and envelopes. And I just use the card as my um, journal, uh, I guess my uh, cover. So I added some Prima flowers and some um, a doily and then I just kind of added a little bit of embellishment and I really love the color and I, this black I think goes so well with the cover. So I think I'm too close, I can't. Okay, here we go. Maybe this will be better. Okay, sorry. So now on to my inside. I use I used one of the pockets that comes in the um, the um, uh, journaling pack with this, and I just use a tag that I coffee dyed, and I use some seam binding that I also dyed myself. And these. I printed these out on my printer and I printed them a little bit smaller so I did not um, really want to go through um, printing them and then sitting them back through and then it not being <clears throat> even so what I did was I printed everything and then I backed them so you can see I backed them together so each page has like a little pocket that you can add and tuck stuff in and that way it's double sided. And then I just kind of added a little tag in here. And I tucked in um, journal flower journaling cards. And I will make sure I link the, um, the link for this in her shop. And then I'm just, and so I just kind of, it's this is small. And I really like my embellishments to be kind of big. So I just kind of put some tuck stuff in that you can just tuck in. Um, it kind of gives it some, I mean, it's a really chunky little mini album, so it gives it some um, dimension. Here, so this here is just the packaging from the um, Prima Flowers. Actually, I lied. These are Recollection Flowers. Um, I don't use Prima Flowers, but I do have Prima Flowers, and this is the packaging that it comes in. And so I just cut it, and I, I really love the... Um, the little cutout it has so I just added it in and I just stapled some embellishments to it 
another tag or a little um postcard or um note card that I coffee dyed more tucks and then here I created a little tuck with one of the embellishments and then I use a tag that comes in the t paper um line and then um a little journaling card and then these little postage um and I just stapled it I don't have anything in this tag oops here is another one of the envelopes that comes with the um, journaling, journaling kit and I just added some twine and added a tag in and then this here is the envelope that comes with this card and what I did was I sewed it in and then I just kind of cut, cut the top so I can have um, so it can pull out from the top instead of through the side which I have another one that that pulls out through the side then I just tucked in um, one of these really big cards that she has in the paper line. And then this also tucks in to another little ephemera. And then here. And then of course I added some um, embellishments inside. And it's so pretty. Here is another tuck spot, recollection flower that I just added to the top of a tag. More ephemera that tucks in. And then here's another one of the little journaling cards. I just put it on a foam tape so it gives it a little bit of dimension. Another, I just added something in the tuck um, in one of these little pockets. Tag. And then here, this is what I'm talking about here. This was the, um, the envelope. And I cut it. And I added some text, some of the um, journaling, uh, flower journaling cards. Because they went really well with the, with the um, journaling kit that I was using. And then this here, I printed out a ton. Because... Um, normally when I get stuff I just print it out and so I can have it and so what I did was I put them all together these little journaling cards and I whole bunch to hold with my crop doll and added a ring and a whole bunch of lace um, some lace some trim and I tied it all together with a um, some cro crochet twine and I just kind of made a little book so that you can kind of go through if you have like um, maybe if you're traveling and you can write about where you went that day and so on. And that just kind of tucks perfectly right here. So that just goes and just kind of on the top. And then I have pa uh, more of the beautiful paper and I just added more um, journaling cards in. More journaling cards. A little tuck from the... Um, I don't remember where this infirmer came from but I will link all the ones that I have printed out. I want to say that this is just a um, infirmer pack. These all came from the infirmer pack. Um, and I'll link down to, I think it's Infimera Pack Set 2 is the one that um, I used. And so because it's only 10 pages, it's so small, I didn't want to add a ton of stuff. But you kind of can't help adding a whole bunch when you are using this paper. Or any of the papers that she has in her Etsy shop. Because it's, I mean, it's just so fun. Like, I just keep adding and keep adding and keep adding. And so, but... Thank you so much for watching, um, and I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you.